won't get ahead of any announcements from the president, but I will echo the president's displeasure with China. Uh, it's no secret that China mishandled this situation. Just a few examples for you. They did not share the genetic sequence until a professor in Shanghai did so on his own the very next day. China shut down his lab for, quote, rectification. Uh, they slow walked information on human to human transmission alongside the World Health Organization and didn't let U.S. investigators in at a very important time. Is, is the president seriously considering forcing China to pay some sort of compensation, reparations, what, whatever word you want to put on it? Again, when it comes to retaliatory measures, um, I will not get ahead of the president on that. Does the president have information and has he drawn a conclusion that the intelligence community has not yet? Look, the president's statement is consistent with the other intelligence assessments. While we continue to have very limited and dubious data from China, current assessments indicated that President Trump's statement is consistent with what some analysts believe is the epicenter of where the virus began. And I would note that intelligence statement you're referring to really made two points. One, that this virus originated in China. Uh, two, that it began through contact with infected animals or was the result of an accident at a laboratory in Wuhan. Uh, so I consider that consistent with what the president said, that he's seen intelligence suggesting it could be in the Wuhan laboratory. Is the president in any way uh, creating mixed messaging by not saying, we're still investigating? <laughs> So, you know, let me remind everyone, intelligence is just an estimate, essentially, and it's up to policymakers to decide what to do with that intelligence. This, in this case, the policymaker is the President of the United States, and he'll make that decision at the right time. Has he received any recommendations of, of the consequences? Is he anywhere near a decision? Look, again, I won't get ahead of the president's decision or the timing of that decision, but he takes this very seriously because the decisions of China that I referenced, um, slow walking some of that information, put American lives at risk. And rest assured, this president has one priority, and that is the safety and the well-being of American lives. So, since it's been more than 100 days since the press secretary stood up there, I um, wanted to get a better sense of what your plan is. Are you planning to do these you know, on a daily basis at this point? And also, um, will you pledge never to lie to us for that? I will never lie to you. You have my word on that. As to the timing of the briefings, um, we do plan to do them. Um, I will announce timing of that forthcoming, but we do plan to continue these.